Good morning, people. It's BookNet Fest packing day. Um, I'm heading to the hotel today, even though there's no actual specific event happening tonight, I don't think. Um, and we're not gonna think about how much I still have to do before we leave. I have to wrap birthday gifts for, early birthday gifts for Chloe and Kat, and I'm gonna do that now. Um, and then I have to make my packing list. And if I run out of all my times, I might just shower at the hotel because that would make my life way easier. But BookNet Fest, yay, it's here and I couldn't be happier about it. So I'd like to go ahead and give myself a really big shout out because I just wrapped all this and there's no scraps, like none. I cut nothing off, I wasted nothing, I am awesome. I'm not sure what to say for myself, but I might legit have just packed four days worth of Harry Potter clothes. Hello, it is Thursday. This weekend is BookNet Fest. I am trying to get ready. I was waiting for my laundry, which kind of sucks. And I haven't showered. I'm just gonna do that at the hotel. God, my face is so greasy. Meh. All right, but I'm in the process of packing and I still have so much to pack. OMG, finally in the car, got everything packed. I have my hot ass coffee. I wish it had been refrigerated longer, um, but we're stopping at Circle K to get some water. And then, then we're off, then we're off and uh, I can't wait to get in the shower. <laughs> Yay, so I've arrived at our suite. I wanna show you guys what it looks like because I'm super excited. So this is when you come in and this door leads to the bathroom and I'll show you that as I go around through it. So here we have the kitchen. The counter and some seats and like a dining area. It's my purse. The living room. This is the way to where Kayla and Nikki will be staying. They have this room. There's a TV and a closet. And then they have their own bathroom. It's kind of dark in the bathroom. So there's a separate sink which is cool. There's a separate sink. And then the shower and the toilet is in here. And then this goes back out to the hallway where we started. Wow, go back. This is the room that John and I will be staying in. It has a king size bed. Also a TV and some drawers and a jacuzzi and then our bathroom. So here's the sink and then a little vanity area. Wait, I don't know where the switch is for this. A little vanity area for getting ready. Linen closet and then the actual toilet. and then the shower. Boom! I am so excited! Fuck yeah, champagne and chocolate covered strawberries have arrived. We ballin' up in here. Okay, so a few things. Our room has a doorbell and I don't know why, but that greatly amuses me. Actually, I'm lying. I totally know why. It's because my house has not had a doorbell in like forever. I've been living at my house for like seven years and I just recently got a door bought. The other thing is that every single time my husband and I go on a trip, one of the things that we end up struggling with is there's not enough outlets, right? Because we have we have to charge our iWatches, we have to charge the iPad, our phones. There's so much shit to plug in and we never have enough space. But we were not fucking around this time. <laughs> Good morning, it's 8 a.m. And um, last night we ended up having a reading party where we didn't read, which was totally cool because we were like the most social introverts because Chloe and Kat and I are all September babies. We have been exchanging gifts and we did that last year. Um, there's a video of that on my 
book net fest video for last year but i'm gonna have to share with you what i got this year later though when i'm more awake right now i'm just being hesitant about getting out of bed because i may have put the ac down too low and i'm fucking freezing I was so happy though, I brought my instant pot and my husband made soup yesterday and we like finished it, like he made double the amount so everybody had chicken, chicken, creamy chicken soup and that was awesome and then we had Moscato, we had white Zinfandel, Zinfandel. we had um, some cider that Rachel Ray brought over later um, so there was drinks and fun and things but I didn't go to bed till like 2 a.m. and then probably because I don't ever drink and I was drinking last night I had trouble sleeping so I'm not ready to be up but I'm gonna do it I'm gonna get up I'm gonna go to that meet and greet and I'll tell you guys more later so right now John is cooking breakfast for everyone and we're gonna eat and then we're gonna head over to register and and get ready for the meet and greet Yet. So I get in the car and all of a sudden my husband starts screaming. He's like, get up, get up, there's a bug, there's a bug. And I'm freaking out and I jump out of the car and apparently there was a ginormous grasshopper on me somehow from like walking from upstairs to downstairs. How did, I don't understand. I don't know where, how it landed on you. Scared. I, I, didn't even, I didn't see it, thank God. It's just scared the crap out of me. times in the regular cards or the official cards also they use the same actress so i guess it's like unofficially official yeah i've gotten her three times i think twice i've given them a cat and i have one at home and then hopefully i've got somebody different i picked one of them up from a different box so hopefully it's different. Are you mm -hmm. kidding me? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Here you go. Huff, huff. Oh, Thank you. Uh, I tried. So we just finished doing a collab video for Chloe and then Chloe and Kat and Teresa did another one for Chloe's channel and now we are in the small community panel. I think so. So I'll try to get some photographs or maybe like a short video clip. So yay. I'm really tired. Yeah, I always find it delightful when I go and check out somebody's video, whether or not it's somebody I know. And, like, there are people I know in the comments. And I can, like, reply to their comments and be like, I thought the same thing. This is great. You should you talk go, more about this. You feel like you live in the same town. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you can go to the store, too. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I love that aspect of it. I've had some really good friends just yeah, yeah. from the beginning. Uh, internet friends that are real friends. Uh, I've, you know, sent presents to people that I've made good friendships with before just because they've been there for me from the start, and I appreciate that. Yeah, definitely. Like, we're, we're actually really good friends. Like, this is my second time in Florida this year because I came to visit Paige earlier this year. 
because I know if I would have had the actual dip, um, especially with the medication, like an example, if it was a TV show and a movie and a book of someone taking anxiety medication, I wouldn't have waited until two years ago to take it. Because I was convinced that I was going to be a snow with just like, you know, having to pass out every day if I took it. And my life would have been way easier if I just had an example. Like one, like literally one example of someone being like, oh, you could take anxiety medicine and function. That's amazing. Uh, being a part of the community is really, really important and uh, is a great way for other people to be able to see your work. If you're commenting, hi, I really like your work, come check out my work, not a good way to become part of the community. Um, but actively engaging and being really genuinely interested in what other people are posting, um, posting comments that are insightful and um, helpful or you're answering the questions that other people are posting in their captions. Um, and you're not asking for anything in return, eventually, you know, relationships form that way. Just, you know, um, they're going to like your content, you're going to like their content. What's not to love? I'm going to pick up the cards like this and I'm going to read them like this one first and then the one. Okay. I spent my whole life working toward blank only to have it ruined by blank. Hey guys, so day one of BookNet Fest was absolutely awesome. Um, I got to meet so many different people and uh, at this point I probably will have put in pictures and video of some of the panels that I got a chance to attend and it's kind of early-ish or at least it's earlier than I went to bed last night. It is about midnight. I'm already in my PJs and I'm getting comfortable and I'm gonna go to sleep so I can wake up tomorrow bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. <laughs> there are going to be a couple of other things going on tomorrow. There's going to be a mixer and a book swap and um, another workshop. So it's all stuff that I'm truly excited for. So John, what did you think of BookNet Fest? So far so good. So far so good? I'm tired. Yeah, we're tired. All right, good night. Good morning, I'm in my car. I'm kind of feeling weird today, I don't know. I don't know if I slept well or did not sleep well. Just feeling low on energy, but having some coffee and trying to get pumped, although I've missed at least half of the keynote at this point. Anyway, hopefully uh, I can catch the last half and uh, we'll see how the rest of the day goes. In terms of like being able to tell somebody who made something you love that you loved it, and like where before, like, I don't know, I guess you could write a letter to an author, but like, I really liked your book. But that is so much more personal than like adding someone on Twitter and being like, hey, like your book changed my life. I really love your book and being able to communicate that. And obviously I think that that's important to everybody here because we have social media outlets where that interaction is super important and having that kind of access. So also having that on the other side where I can just be like, loved your book or whatnot. But I think that's super, super important to me. It's really encouraging too, I find, because like, I've been documenting my whole process of writing and like, Book of Sisters is literally just a glimmer, like there's no publishing deal, no anything, but whenever I post about it or talk about it, I'm kind of like, oh, no one's going to care, like maybe a couple of people, but people are always like so excited and it like literally makes me so emotional every time, so it's nice to see like, that gives the drive to keep going, especially through revisions, which are like, What's up Instagram? I'm on my patio and I'll show you guys a clip of the view in a second. Um, sorry that I forgot to update this morning. I was having a weird mental day. I ended up switching out of my clothes multiple times and just wasn't feeling, feeling good this morning. Anyway, I've already attended two BookNet Fest day two panels. Um, one was a workshop about growing your channel with Nicole Sweeney online and um, also thoughts on tomes. That was pretty awesome. And the other one was even earlier with Clarabel Ortega. My name is Marines. Um, Helium Bookland, and um, 
Allison Maylee, I think, maybe that's her last name. And that was about interacting with authors online. That was great too. We've kind of dashed back to the villa so that we can have some leftover burritos and Chloe, Kat, and Teresa are coming over. And also, I think it's Skeptical Bookworm. Her name is Crystal. <laughs> I'm also now realizing that having the fountain behind me might have made it really difficult to hear me, so I hope that wasn't the case. 